I sought a prince, but nay, what I have found were ancient men of hairy cheek. Twas an honor, yeah, and one that left my breath stricken in my throat. Love be- uh, <clears throat> Love de be kept up this refrain as she traveled with our heroes. She seemed less than happy. Still, she did have a lot of energy. Hasten thy chubby legs. Time waits not for those who slack. Luigi, on the other hand, was elated that he and his brother were finally reunited. But Peach and Bowser were still nowhere to be found. Were they safe? So thought our heroes as they made their way slowly to the Underwear Road. In Chapter 7, 2... The Seal Doors 3. At long last, we find it. Herein lies the way out of the underwear. This is Underwear Road. So, if we proceed ever upward, we'll eventually reach the over there? Yeah, verily. One would think that to be obvious. Ugh. My heart weepeth to return to the over there without meeting mine one true love. Pray, speaketh to me, Tippy. Believest thou in the idea of a soulmate? Hmm? Well, you know, I... I don't really... Hmm. I shall mark that as one vote for undecided. Or perhaps I should say unrequited in thy case. Ha <laughs> ha! What do you... Ridiculous! I mean, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Sweet Tippy, how simple it is to tweak thy chain. So, now I must forge onward. Catchest me if thou canst. And we shall do that. That girl's a walking mood swing. I mean, she's entirely unstable, isn't she? Yep. <laughs> Way to discount her, uh, her insight as the prattlings of someone who is... Well, suffers from mood swings. I don't know what the label for that is. Uh, also, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Last time, we were charged with... Escorting Lovebe to the over there, where we can ask this mysterious Gramby character about the pure heart. This time, we're doing that. Yeah, great. Listen. Through this door is the underwear's hot spot, Underwear Road. The dark is so dark in there, you can almost taste it, and it tastes like danger. So, tourists, huh? Listen, you guys probably ain't, aren't packing any fire or anything, are you? Sorry, gotta ask. We keep it dark in there on purpose. So, we don't want to spoil it. Okay, that's kind of odd. How dark is it going to be? Very dark! Okay. Uh, I mean, either that or we're just really dirty and the <laughs> we turned into pig pen. That's also possible. Okay, oh, there's Lovebee. And she doesn't seem to have any trouble in this dark, though I am. It's really hard to see in here. It's also an interesting darkness effect. I've never really seen this before. And it's, it's kind of disorienting, but at the same time, I like it. I like it a lot. What, what did we hit? Okay, there are hands in the walls. Okay, I thought there was one there, but that was actually just Love Bee. Okay, let's... We have to use these things again because we don't have Peach to cross the gap. Man, you don't really know what you're missing until it's gone, and it's true. For as much as I've... Oh, wait, 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 we need to go back. We need to go back. Uh, can I jump it? I can. I have no clue why. I have no clue why we had to do that. Okay. Go up here. There's a chest. There we go. What is in this chest, pray tell? I'm just becoming Love Bee. It's a dark boo. Are we going to see dark boos? Have we se We haven't... No, we've seen boos. We've seen boos before as, uh, as enemies, but... Oh, there's a dark boo. Well, what do you know? Oops. 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 Ah. Uh, okay, well, I guess it led to this thing. Which is not helpful. Okay, I don't really actually want to fight the boos. Because they seem kind of strong. As I mean, strong as in hard to hit. And they can hit us easily. So let's just chase Love Bee up here. As I reflect on how... Why are there so many mushrooms? How, uh... I was like, I'm going to say why I like formal characters. And then I said it. And I didn't say it. And I'm probably not going to say it this episode. Because I really don't know. But I like Love Bee. Love Bee's a really cool character. I guess it's because, uh, I thought she might have something to say. Okay, it's held, it's held shut by something. Okay, so we're just gonna have to keep looking around. 
But uh, I, I think it's because, you know, in in a game where it it pertains to be um, in its own universe, right? It's using our universe's lingo without coming up with any of its own. Like, it doesn't have catchphrases or, um, or contractions or whatnot of its own. It's just, like, using ours. I guess that kind of feels cheap to me. I mean, I guess the characters like Lovebe are still using ours just from a different age. But it still feels... It feels its own. And the characters feel just a little bit deeper, you know? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's probably also because this kind of language doesn't exist. It doesn't really coexist with ours. It's kind of a it's kind of a dinosaur by this point. Also, where are we going? Like this door is held shut by a mysterious force that we can't can't penetrate. And I haven't seen anything. Okay, that's a torch. Yeah, I know that. What's wrong with the door? It's no ordinary door. Oh, hey. Okay, well that that triggered something. Halt. What's this then? Travelers have come. And the darkness lifts for whatever reason, and there's a door! Okay! Didn't expect that, but I mean, we've seen it before in, uh, Francis's castle, so I shouldn't be that surprised. Now, Queen, Queen JD's demands that I guard this door, people. I am Door Guy the First. Lots of monsters around, folks. Lots of monsters. So I've got to do routine checks, okay? Sorry for the trouble, folks, but I, I need to make sure that you're trustworthy. Just a couple questions. Answer them all correctly and we're done here. Then you can head on through. Here's the first one. I'm warning you though, these are pretty tough questions, so use the, those noggins. D-Man A goes to the store and buys an equal number of tomatoes and eggplants. Eggplants cost 7 coins apiece, and tomatoes cost 10 co coins apiece, okay? D-Man A has 50 coins when he goes to the store, and he comes out with 5 coins. Those are the facts. Now, who is the most powerful person in the underwear? Uh, okay. D Queen DJs. Queen uh, Deji's and JD. It's JD's. Dingo. Correct. Next question. Shady B buys 667 pens for 13 coins each and buys 108 notebooks with 42 coins each. He needs more money, so he takes out 3,756 coins from the bank and spends it all. Those are the facts. Now, what is my name? Gorgai the Thirst, Dorgai the First, and Borgai the 64th. It's the middle one. Dingo! Correct. Now for the last question. Panda A and Bear B go to Apple Mountain for a day of apple picking, right? There are 120 apple trees on the mountain, and each has a 20 apple yield. A takes 10 seconds to pick each apple, while B takes 20 seconds to pick each apple. Those are the facts. Now, how many times did I just say the word apple? Oh boy. Oh boy. Um I don't know. I I don't know. Okay, well, let's let's trust my memory from watching a let's play all those years ago. And I'm going to say that it was 6 times. It was the memory comes back. The memory comes back and serves me well. Correct. <laughs> That's amazing. Now, I'm not sure if that was my subconscious being like, oh, bro, I got you. I counted them when you weren't realizing. And then I'm like, thanks, brain. And it's like, you're welcome. Um, or if maybe... There's a lot of demon. Um, or maybe, I mean, I just remembered from the Let's Play. Though I think I remembered from the, the Let's Play I watched years ago. Huh, what do you want? Look, we love to chit-chat, but we're crunch time busy over here. Can't you tell? We simply must reach the over there but we don't know which way it is. The over there, huh? See that door on your left? It'll head you up there, but we can't open it right now. We've got to guard this door. We trapped a raging beast inside, uh, from the underwear inside. Yep, this thing in here is definitely the one that escaped its prison. Can't have it breaching security, so we locked both doors just in case. This thing's a beast, let me tell you. Real nasty. If it starts rampaging again, I, won't, I don't want to be the D-man who has to stop it. 
problem is, until someone subdues it, we can't use the door for, to the over there. So, if you can tame it, we can open that door for you. Want to give it a shot? Uh, sure. <laughs> I was just messing with you. Seriously. No one ever... <laughs> no one would ever be dumb enough to... Wait. Did you just say yes? Are you nuts? You, you, you're serious? You actually think that you can tame that beast? Well, yeah, hey, great idea. Sounds like a smart plan. Tell you what, you head in and I'll mail your mustache to your next of kin. Look, my prediction? Your game's about to end. If not, we'll help you on your way. Give it a shot, champ. Alright. There's a monster in them there door ways. And we can't see. Okay, this is this is terrible. I can't see it if it's coming at me. Um, Barry. Barry, hello. Grog! Wait a minute. That sounded familiar. Hey, it's Bowser. W w where am I? And why do these jerks and shades keep jumping me? And what's up with the dark? And Peach isn't here and I'm hungry. What do I do to deserve this? <laughs> Poor Bowser. Hey, Mario and Tippy. Just you? Where's Peach? We don't know yet. We're looking for her too. So what you're telling me is that she's definitely not here. I don't like this one bit. Aha! I see your little plan. You want to break up what Peach and I have going? <laughs> yeah, you've been waiting for a chance to fireball me in the back. Uh, uh, no. We truly don't know where Peach is. We merely... Can it, you ugly little bug? I'll stomp the truth out of you. Charge! Again with this? I didn't beat you the last time. I died. And beat- I don't even remember how I beat you. <laughs> and now we have to do it again. No. Um. Actually, Barry seems right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Barry seems correct here. Whoa! Bowser! He's using Luigi's dash attack from- Okay, that kind of works. He's using uh, Luigi's dash attack from Smash. Okay, I guess Barry will do the trick. I mean, it's not optimal, but I I legitimately don't know the optimal way to beat Bowser. That's Bowser, the king of the Koopas and arch enemy of Bowser, or arch enemy. HP is 80, attack is 8, defense is 2. Wait, wait a minute. His HP is 80? But when he's in our party, it's like 35. Okay, I smell, I smell a rat here. As you'd imagine, his fiery breath and stomp attack do lots of damage. You'll need to use pixels and items to win this battle. Okay, so maybe I did do it the first time, and they intentionally didn't put any optimal way to beat him. Okay, let's just keep using Barry. I'm s I'm really sorry, Bowser, that I have to use the, the Barry strategy against you of all people. Also, could you get away from the door? That'd be, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're evil and stuff. And you like to use fire. Ow. But you know what? <laughs> also, I just realized if his HP is 80 and I'm dealing 2 damage with this pixel, it's going to be a long time. Hooya! Hooya! <laughs> this works, I guess. Ow. Ow. That deals a lot of damage. I'm glad I stocked up. Ow, he can't do that. Yeah, yeah, just jump at me. There you go. And jump at me and get you to the other side. Nice. It hits me every time, so I should not. I should just wait for his fire to be over. <laughs> what even? What even, Bowser? Like, what even? No, I did it again. Okay, okay, okay. If he hits me with a, a jump attack, then it will deal 8 damage. So, and let's see, what do I have? I have... I'm good. I don't want to die because I don't want to. I don't want to use my life shroom so easily. Um, let's try a different pixel here. Cudge? That might work. Uh, I'd have to get close, which is the problem. But here, yeah, yeah. Here's my opportunity. He's gonna get tired. Ow. Okay, that didn't work. And I will die if I take another hit. So let's just use this and tilt it as shown. Tilted. Tilted. Tilted, tilted, and tilted. Like me playing League all over again. Okay, hopefully this will heal me up before I die. Also, 
Kudge did, he didn't even hit them, so... Um... I really don't know here. Like, it says items and pixels, but... So it means that they have a pixel in mind, one that isn't optional? Carry was required, I guess. Hey, that works! That works! Okay, so carry allows me to jump on him. That's nice. And that way, I can get some nice styles. It's been a while since I've had a good opportunity to do that. And I can jump his fire easily. And I can heal up a ton of HP from this long life stream. Whoa! There we go. This is this is how it was supposed to go. This is actually probably what they had in mind as well. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay, heal me up one more HP. I there we go. Whoa! Whoa! He's juking me. There we go. The fire does a lot of damage, and I need to be careful of that because if I if I get too cocky, then um then it will kill me. Grack. Man, why do I always lose? What's wrong with me? I get up every time, though. As many times as it takes it, as it takes to send you to, to the underwear. Bowser, I'm sorry to break this to you, but we're we're already there. What? What are you talking about? Do I look like a guy whose game is over? You and Mario were sent here, to the land of ended games, to the under the underwear. We didn't know what had happened to any of you, not just Peach. What? So, Peach really is lost out there somewhere? Why didn't you say so, idiot? We could have been searching this entire time. Bowser has rejoined the party reluctantly. What are you waiting for? Let's move. Okay, now that he's back in our party, let's question how he has 80 HP in the fight, but he doesn't when he's with us. This is, this is, very, this is a very serious question right now. Hey, it's you, and your game isn't over. Did you run away or something? What? You beat it? Seriously? No way! Man, I couldn't- I can't believe it. Wow, uh, thanks. You're a prime go-getter, pal. He knows our name. This key will open the door that connects to the over there. Okay, cool, we have the key. Cool, cool, problem solved. Way to think outside the box there, people. I'll just stay on the watch here. You two go find the rest of the monsters out there. We're on it! Oh, hey, uh, let me give you a little tip. Lots of dark areas around here, right? Solution, put a little flame to the torch sconces you see on the walls. That'll light up the place for a while. Careful, though, they'll eventually go out. If you know someone who can use fire, get him to- <laughs> get him on torch duty, stat. If only we had a pixel that could use fire! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's still- that still makes me ashamed. Ah, uh, it makes me very ashamed that I, I, I had that, that very senior moment earlier on in the LP. If only we had a pixel we could use fire at, while I'm playing Bowser. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, it was in the past. It was in the past. I've, I don't do that anymore. I've retired. There we go. Just jump up here. I feel like there's something here. There's not. I thought I saw a thing, but I was wrong. Okay, let's get, just get back to the top. We have yet to find Peach, and I feel like we're not going to find her in this episode because they wouldn't they wouldn't have us find two of our companions in the same episode. That just seems weird. Whoa! Got him. Ah uh ha! -huh. So, question: If um, actually, I have a couple questions. Is it like awkward for Bowser to kill his his minions because they're there and they're trying to attack him for? Ah, uh, uh, boost. Okay. Uh, they're trying to attack him for whatever reason. They're like, oh man, it's Bowser. He's our, he's our ruler. Let's attack him, guys, just for old times' sake. And he's like, what are you doing? And he stomps them. And they're like, oh man, sorry. Is it awkward now? And he's like, yeah, a little bit. Okay, let's get on the edge here. But it seems like it'd be kind of awkward. It also, I also found it really weird, though. I didn't talk about it at the time when um. When Lovebee was lamenting that she hadn't found her prince before leaving the uh, the underwear, why is she looking in the equivalent of? I guess is it is it hell? I mean, she's kind of looking in hell or at least the underworld for her prince. That seems really odd, you know? Wouldn't she look among her own people? Like, who's she gonna find? A ghost or uh, one of the demon? Like, wh why is she here? This door. It looks like. Door guy the first from earlier. Halt, what's this then? Travelers have come! 
There's another door. Now, Queen Jadis commands I guard this door, folks. I'm Door Guy the Second. Okay, I believe you. Look, I apologize for the intrusion, but I've got to run a quick security check here. I've got a few questions. Answer them all correctly, and I'll wave you on through. <laughs> Activate screen. Oh, hey, he has, he has a nice setup. Much nicer than that other guy. This guy truly is the, the second strongest. All right, question one. Look closely at the objects on the screen, okay, folks? Okay, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Now, answer me this. How many red objects were there? There were two. Hmm. Sorry, wait. Oh, oh boy. Question two. Watch that screen now. Okay, three, three, two, two, uh, three, four, actually. Four, three, two. Okay, got it. How many triangles were there, folks? There were two. Hoo-hoo-ha! I'm pretty sure I'm right here. Eyes on the screen, folks. Okay, uh, there's... There's three... Two... Two... Three... Three, two, three. Okay. What color were the moving objects? <laughs> Smorange? <laughs> Smorange? <laughs> they were multiple colors, weren't they? I think they were. But I'm gonna say red, because Smorange. <laughs> That's your answer, eh? Now, next qu- There are a lot of questions here, okay. Off the top of your head, which number question is this? This is four. This is four. One, what was that, one trillion? <laughs> Getting tired yet, folks? Don't give up. This is the last question. Look closely at the screen. They're all moving. Let's see. Three, two, three. Okay, three, two, three. What shape was the most plentiful, folks? Donuts? Uh, it wasn't triangles, because that was the one that had two. <laughs> it wasn't donuts. So it's the only valid answer, and that was squares. Let me just analyze your responses real quick. Oh boy, hopefully we don't have to get them all right, because I feel like I got at least one wrong. Hoo-hoo-ha! <laughs> you answered 40% of... Oh. Okay. Well, I mean, that's passing in Florida. Couldn't this be Florida? I mean, it's the underwear. That's pr that's close enough. That's that's close enough. Ah, oh, man. Okay, well, let's try it again. What shape was the most plentiful, folks? It wasn't donuts, and it actually wasn't squares. It was triangles. Done. Let me just reanalyze your responses real quick. I'm pretty sure I got it right this time. Like, all of it. Maybe... Maybe I missed one. Per 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 perfect! Amazing! I'm impressed! Your brain ages? Really? Really? They made that re They referenced brain age? It makes so much sense now! It's a brain age reference! Well, if brain's that young, you must be good people! Head on in! Really? Nintendo, you're referencing that really old IP? That hard- I Okay, I I'll admit it. I have two Brain Age games for the DS, and I'm actually not really ashamed because they did they did make sure that your observational skills stayed pretty sharp. Oh, hello, um, you you ladies, ladies, right? You look fine today. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> well, where are you headed, youngun? You have free time, right? How about you do old Hagnus a favor? Sure. So you'll do it, yes? I did not imagine you would turn down a lovely lady. I have one simple request. Just stay here for a while and let me talk to you. Now let me see, what should we talk about? I know, I'll tell you a spicy little story from the days of my burning youth. You may not know it to see it now, but I was a red-hot little tomato back in my day. Boys drooled in my- They still do, but that's because they're old. I was the very incarnation of beauty back then. I had a date with a new handsome fellow every single night. <laughs> then one day, a certain fellow caught my eye, and I fell deeply in love. But I was shy with real feelings on the line, and I hid my deepest emotions, so I stabbed him and cold- I mean, and then a rival for his affections appeared. 
Oh, and how I raged into the night. Like night and day, our personalities were polar opposites, yes. And yet, through some twist of fate, we had fallen for the same fellow. <laughs> we two knocked ourselves out, doing all we could to turn his head. Keep in mind, I was a v v veteran man-eater. Agnes knew what she was doing. But if I cooked him into a seven-layer cake, she would do eight layers and hide in it. She would fill his schedule with dates with her, so I could not. You get the idea. So I had to find my, some way to silence her forever. And, I mean, hide her. And I just kept at it until I found the courage to tell him my feelings one fine day. But then he rejected me. My rival had already won his heart, it seemed. I was so distraught, my hair turned white and overnight. And I aged until I looked like this. <laughs> Just kidding. I made the whole thing up. But anyway, I feel more like my youth ended on that day. I blossomed magnificently, and then the bloom fell from the branch, as it were. But flowers are beautiful because they must wither. So my beauty was true. And the name of this fellow I was after? Gramby. He lives far above us in the over there. And I have no regrets about my pretty youth. In fact, remember me to Gramby. Ah, that was just lovely, thanks to you. I feel so refreshed now then. What was that? Am I done? Well, not exactly, young, and I still must thank you. Thanks. That was my present for you. A very nicely drawn out thank you. I'm actually kind of conflicted on whether or not I should end the episode here. So we're at, we're at 30 minutes, and they have a save block, which either that means it's the halfway point for the level, or there's a boss. So I really don't know. I, I really don't. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle this, but I'll just keep recording. And if if it goes long, I'll probably just like end it without an outro, I guess. <clears throat> now for me to kill my voice again. <laughs> and where are you, handed young man? Hagatha wants to know. You seek what? A puny heart? I know not what that is, but it sounds serious and delicious. We're all cannibals here. Yes, and I hate to be a bother, but I have a small problem. You see, and listen carefully here, there is a show I really want to watch on the Undervision tomorrow night. So I set my recorder to tape while wow, this game's old. It automatically, so I would not forget, yes? It has to be high quality too, not that quick stuff. Such awful image quality. In any case, I want to be sure the Bone Ball game didn't go into extras and delay it. I asked a D-man to check on the recording. Could you ask him about the game for me? Oh, simply wonderful, yes. Well, I'll send you to where that D-man currently lingers. Thanks for helping. Agatha Wagatha! Okay, she's a sorceress! And we're sent here. Okay. Now, I, I just mentioned, if this episode's going super long, I won't I won't do an outro, but I also won't do an intro, so if this is a new video, hi, <laughs> I'm Pal. Huh? A message for me? <laughs> from that hag who wants me to check on her show? What show is it again? Oh, I don't even remember. I don't even remember! I didn't pay attention! It wasn't that. It wasn't that. I'm pretty sure it was that. Um, thanks for reminding her to tell the hag I got it covered. I'll check in on it, no problem. What are these doors? Were we here? Was this locked? I don't know. What is life? I'm pretty sure. Uh, we. Oh, I know what the. Oh, uh, it sent us to the bottom. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, well, I'll meet you at the top. Oh, hey, guys, 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 uh, look, there's a pipe. There's a pipe. On the way up, there is a pipe. In case I didn't reiterate that enough, there's a pipe. Where does it? Oh, 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 oh! 
Oh boy! Please tell me there's more. Oh! No! No! I no! Did I seriously? No, I I, I, I refuse. I refuse. No. Did I miss out on all of them? I did. No. No. That's no. Are you kidding me? And I didn't save. No. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> really? Okay. Well, play it where it lies. I'm not going to reset based on that. But how many coins is that? Like, 500? Oh, man. Hey, love bee. How dost thou wait hither? Oh, and I know how to use only English better than that. Ah. Oh. Okay, hey! Oh, did you tell me the d the thing? The great, wonderful. Thanks, I'll, I'll tell you something good. Do you know about that horrible beast with three heads, the Undertromp? No, I don't, but I'm about to learn. Well, it loves music, and if you play its favorite song, it'll go to sleep. So if you run into it, and if you have anything that plays music, use it, yes. I should make the battle a little easier, Sonny. Well, I'll see you later. Meh heh heh. I'm evil. <laughs> I'm, I'm Hagra, yes, one of the ancient sisters. Three underwear crones. Yes, young one, aren't you? And where are you headed, young man? You seek the pure heart, and you wish to have an audience with Gramby? Sounds serious. Well, you're not the only soul here with a problem, no, for I have one as well. Yes, I lent a certain book to a certain D-man, you see. Now I need it back. Could you find him and get it back for me, you strapping young thing? Good, good. Allow me to send you to where the D-man in question is. Uh, thanks for your help, yes. I'm frustrated. Hagra Kadagra! I'm really sad that I missed those coins. You have no clue. I'm so sad. Yes, the one. Give it the diet book. Uh, I gotta say, weightless plan seemed kind of dubious. Probably a fad, but hey, thanks to Hag for me anyway. Leave it to Hags to find the fads. <laughs> I missed the fuck. Uh. Okay, I thought there might be a door here, but there's not. Okay, well, I'll move on. I'll grow up and not be sad about those hundreds of coins I missed. Okay, honestly, I don't really need to buy anything. Like, being real here, it's it's mainly the principle of the thing. Also, did it really put me all the way back here? Are you kidding me? And did I really just fall down? Are you kidding me? Hoi! There we go. Okay, well, I'll meet you back up top again. 